At the beginning of summer 1389, the Ottoman army under the leadership of Sultan Murat was heading toward the territory of Serbian liegemen in order to conquer them. The army broke out to Kosovo field through the territory of its vassals, which is nowadays the northern Macedonia. Having heard the news of the Ottoman army's approaching, the new army with the leadership of Lazar Hrebeljanovic, the Moravic state prince, had been gathered. The army was formed with the help of Vuk Branković, in uh, whose territory the Kosovo battle took place, and Bosnian ruler King Tvrtko I Kotromanić, who sent one part of the army under the command of Duke Vlatko Vuković. The Kosovo battle took place at the Kosovo field, not far from Pristina of Nvidovdan, 28th June 1389. There have been different polemics in the science about the result of the battle. What is sure is that both rulers died. According to the medieval reasoning, the crucial criteria for uh, assessing the outcome of the battle is that the winning army is the one which remains on the battlefield. However, both armies retreated. The news about other important details was contradictory from the very beginning. King Tvrtko had informed the city of Trogir and friendly Firenze about the great victory of Christian army. The death of the Turkish ruler had uh, made an impression among Byzantine people and elsewhere until France that Christians had won. As the time passed by, there have been different stories. On the Christian behalf, the motive of betrayal aroused, uh, which was unjustifiably attributed to Vuk Branković, who survived the battle and continued to resist the Ottoman Empire. In the first decade after the battle arose the motive of slandered knight, the mythical person Miloš Obilić. According to the legend, Miloš Obilić killed Sultan Murat. It is believed that Prince Lazar Hrebeljanović, who was called Saint Emperor Lazar, consciously sacrificed his earthly, earthly kingdom in order to get heavenly kingdom. Heavenly Serbia is presented as national heavenly kingdom to which, after that, go pious Serbs who sacrifice their lives for religious beliefs and for Kosovo, like Lazar and Obilić. The image of Serbian empire destruction on Kosovo is originally wrong because Serbian state continued to exist for uh, several decades more and in, uh, experienced economic and cultural prosperity. From all historical events, Kosovo Bat legend is the most deeply sized in the national consciousness and it served until 20th century as an inspiration for heroic deeds and sacrifice, but on the other hand it was frequently used for condemnation and betrayal branding. During the next centuries the Kosovo myth was developed through epic poetry as part of the Kosovo cycle, which aroused part of church sermons, which poets later got into form. Bigger influence over the Kosovo legend and folklore and epic than historian facts. During the period of national romanticism awakening, the Kosovo legend became an important part of Serbian national sensitivity. Contemporary researchers think that the Kosovo myth wasn't created by people, but politi political elite in order to manipulate easily. In the 19th and 20th century, the Kosovo myth had an important role in Serbian politics and creation of a uh, modern Serbian country. To the Kosovo myth is attributed the idea of Kosovo revenge and becomes the base of the complete national politic which relied on Kosovo mythology, using mythological characters, narrators, idealized victory and glorified heroism. The Kingdom of Serbia had for the first time marked Vidovdan uh, 500 years from the battle, as a celebration at the highest state level. The Kosovo cult had particularly bloomed during that period. At the turn of, from 19th to 20th century, when during the Balkan Wars 1912-1930, Kosovo and Metohija and parts of old Serbia were free uh, from the Ottoman Empire and become part of Serbian country again. On Vidovdan day 1940, Austro-Hungarian Crown 
Prince Franz Ferdinand decided to visit Sarajevo and attend army parade which was arranged in his honor. He was killed in the assassination performed by Gavrilo Princip, the member of the revolutionary organization Mlada Bosna, which was supporting the Union of the Southern Slavs. The assassination was the cause for the outbreak of the First World War. On Vidovdan Day 1921, the new constitution of the new country of uh, Southern Slav, the Kingdom of Serb, Croatians and Slovenians, had been enacted. Vidovdan Day had not only Serbian but also Yugoslavian character because it was considered a very important national holiday of all Southern Slavs. In 1953, Gazimestan Memorial Complex was erected, the monument dedicated to Kosovo heroes in the shape of medieval tower. Gazimestan was the place where the battle took place. Socialist Yugoslavia supported this way the deliberation achievements of Yugoslavian people who fought against foreign occupators. In 1989, the biggest meeting was held at Gazimestan on the occasion of 600 years from the Gazimestan battle, which coincided with the Serbian politician Slobodan Milosevic rise in political career. There have been a quotation, six centuries later, nowadays we are facing battles and fighting battles. They are not armed, although they are not excluded. On the same date, 2001, Slobodan Milosevic was extradicted to International Court in Hague, being accused for crimes committed in wars during the 90s on the territory of ex Yugoslavia. Kosovo myth is popular nowadays. Serbian politicians still use Kosovo myth in order to secure their future political position and also to dispose of their unlike-minded political opponents, accusing them for treason.